This week on the Yoga Dream Journey, I do my first test run in the new place for recording. Welcome to the story of one yoga entrepreneur's quest to move from his job life into one where yoga is the main focus. We're over half a year in and things are just getting started. This is the Yoga Dream Journey. Got to get everything set up to record this week. However, I promised you a very brief tour, and that is what I'm going to do right now. As you can see behind me, the hall and another bathroom back there. That's another bedroom. Coming out into the living area, we have desk stuff behind me, and then this right here uh, is the living room where I'm going to be recording stuff. You actually already saw the kitchen in the last episode, but... This is the magic spot, so let's take a look. As you can see, another fireplace to record in front of. Awesome, and really plenty of space. Just gotta push back these couches and figure out how to do everything. Over here we also have the dining area and a little bay window with a little nook to do some reading in. And the rest of the day is really just trying to figure out how to move all this furniture stuff and get it all set up and get the angles right. Success, here is the dry run, and it's not gonna make much sense, I'm just kinda whipping through things, but really what's important are the different camera angles. Short and sweet, it really doesn't make any sense, it's not an actual yoga flow, but here you go. Hello and thank you for coming to another awesome session with yours truly. This is the test video to see if all the camera angles are going to work. This is the prime lens angle, switching over to this angle. This is camera A, where I'll do most of the filming for the kind of straight on shots. And then going over to camera C up top, you can see this is shining down on me. So hopefully you get kind of the whole experience if I'm lining up in Shavasana. Let's go ahead and flow through a flow right now. Find yourself standing here at the top of your mat. Close your eyes, take a couple breaths. Good, breaths are great. Inhale, hands up overhead, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, back bend, good. Arms up overhead, swan dive, come all the way down. Inhaling into half lift, flat back and forward fold. You can place those hands on the mat. Go ahead and step on back into downward facing dog. Lifting that tailbone, relaxing that neck. Weight shifts forward into plank pose. Go ahead and take that right knee, bring it on up, set it down on the inside of that right wrist. Untuck your toes. You can walk your hands back, roll your shoulders back, lifting that heart right, breathing. And then go ahead, exhale, come on down. Just staying here on the mat for about 80 breaths. Good, 80 breaths are done. Go ahead, come back up, hands on the mat, and downward facing, zaug, good. Left leg, three-legged down dog, bring it all the way through. Ground down that back heel, and gently windmill open into warrior two. Holding in your warrior two, doing all of your checks, making sure that those heels are more or less in one line. Left knee stacked on top of that ankle, shaking your butt. Yeah, hands out, good, and windmill hands all the way down to the mat. Go ahead and take this foot down, we're facing dissolve. Excellent work, good flow, everybody. Follow these simple steps and you'll reach Nirvana instantly. And if you haven't reached Nirvana yet, then you can always go to a yoga retreat and meditate a bunch because that's how most people get into, you know, Nirvana or like the afterlife or whatever it is you're into. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later, love and light. Take care. Things look pretty good. I probably still need to move some furniture around, but I think it's gonna be all right. Gotta clean up those shadows in the background somehow. I, I don't know, I'll figure everything out. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the numbers. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.